Uh, Miles Morales was uh, your creation, uh, yeah. who replaced uh, Peter Parker. And uh, was a, it was sort of received a lot of news. Tell us about... Well, Miles Morales is um, uh, our Spider-Man, the Ultimate Universe, Ultimate Spider-Man. He's a half African-American, half Hispanic young man who got spider powers, too, because, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but, <laughs> but we, you know, we thought about, like, everything about the Marvel Universe and what we did with Ultimate Spider-Man and what we would have done differently. And we thought, you know, if you really think about Spider-Man and all the elements of Spider-Man... Uh, he would be a kid of color. It, 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 it makes a lot of sense. And, and at the same time, uh, yeah. He's great. Great character. And the... I wanted to get to this other thing that has been kind of bugging me. And you liked um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Yeah. I liked it too. So I'm like saying, I'm, uh -oh. I'm warming up to, um, to um, Miles Morales, right? So then... Me being the dummy I am, I go and stop watching pitch meetings. Have you watched pitch meetings on Screen Rant, where they sort of do the phony pitch, how these movies got pitched in Hollywood, and some of the struggles when they go through the plot, they point out all the flaws. Mm -hmm. Have you watched any of those? No, thankfully I haven't. Well, they're they're pretty funny, but they had that one, and I'm like, you know, when it's something that you like, is like I I stared the gun in the face, like when I was a fan of different books and reading reviews. So I was like, all right. Let me stare the stare, and he does it pretty funny. Obviously, stuff from like um, Jurassic World would get really, you know, trashed, and some other things don't get, you know, like trashed in a good way, not terrible way. So they, he's talking about this movie. He's like saying, "Hey, we have the character Miles Morales, and then we have his father, Jefferson Davis." Now, I didn't know that Jefferson Davis Davis was his father's last name. So I was just like, I thought that was, he was saying, he's like, you know, you say someone like, like it's almost hyphenated name. So you have the mm -hmm. first name is two names. He's right. like, so they asked, he said, why isn't his, um, so why isn't his, his name the same as his father's? And why is he taking his mother's name as his, you know, his, as his last name? And then. Yeah, I know. said the same, I said the same thing. I was like, why does he? <laughs> yeah, I, was, so, I was like, you guys kind of, did you guys like make this up after the fact? Okay, here's Miles Morales. Okay, good. We want a black. Uh, we want a black Latino character. Okay, good. So he's black and his last name is Morales. Okay. Does he have a father in the picture? Oh, no. We don't want to be stereotypical and say that his father ran out, you know? So we, here's his father. Okay, his father's who? Jefferson Davis. Why is his... Um, what? <laughs> yeah. So then, then they go on first. They ask the same question and they hadn't made a mistake of just assuming. And they said, all right, so it's... Um, Miles Davis Morales. Oh yeah, the person said, "Yeah, I get it," because obviously they were trying to go for Miles Davis, and then they like tried to switch it. So then they're like, "Oh, Miles Morales would be a, at, like you could see the basic makeup, but then it's like, oh, Miles Davis, that sort of thing." So you get where they kind of were going, but then they asked the next question. They said, "Isn't that a, like a the guy, the president of the Confederate the Confederate States of America, Jefferson Davis?" And I'm like, no, Bendis, you did it to us again. Yep. <laughs> How could you? You could just name him Jefferson Morales and get over with it. That's the father's name. The mother's name is the same. And I'm just like, Bendis did it to me again. It's like, I'm just warming up to it. And it's like, he's on like, um, was it Seth, Seth Meyer talking about he didn't want to do things for the public. He wasn't trying to make a big deal about this, even though it got picked up in the public they had the other the other thing you know it was a big press release that they were making a black spider-man and then you go do this this would be almost a conspiracy right here that you've done like, well the good thing is that most people don't know who jefferson davis is <laughs> and, but you know to say that most people don't know who miles davis is so yeah, there's that too yeah that's... they have you know they don't know who miles davis is so they wouldn't have that problem either hey most people don't know who sam wilson is <laughs> okay if i were to say hey you know who's the falcon's named after right sam wilson they'd be like he's named after somebody <laughs> like yeah sam wilson uncle sam you know that's you never crazy. i'm like what yeah. Yeah. And then they'll have to they'll have to stop for like a second. They're like, "Is that racist?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they'll, they'll literally stop for a little bit to think. <laughs> well, why would why did they name him after? Because he was a character. He's going to be with Captain America. So you know, to show mm -hmm. this guy, you know, Sam Wilson, that you yeah. know, this guy is you know genuine. From the, <laughs> this guy's genuine. You know, he's named this, that, and the other. And like, oh, and, oh, even more. Most of them don't know his origin in the comics. That he was a uh, that he was a pimp and a drug oh, dealer that. in the comics. 
I don't know any of that. Man, I don't remember. Which <laughs> all I remember is his hot girlfriend, and luckily they became they, they used to double date. I didn't want him to go, even though because she, she was very militant. And Cap was like, I don't know what to do. This guy's cool, but he's got this like. Cap, don't let it go. <laughs> History will, if you stick with the Falcon and her, you, you'll be cool. And it, it, he did, so. I love that. They were like, what? And he tell you, tell us, but yeah, you know, the Falcon was a drug dealer, right? Huh? Yeah, his name was Snap Wilson. Huh? What Stop the hell? Like, well, was, they're like, hey, in the, in the story, you know, his father died. And after his father died, that was no, pretty no, much no. it. You know, he took a turn for the worse. But you know who got him back on track? Who? Oh, I know, Captain America. No, it wasn't Captain America who got him back on track. It was the Red Skull. <laughs> yes. The Red Skull used the Cosmic Cube, and he brought out the best qualities in the Falcon. Oh but it, it, actually, when he brought out the best qualities in the Falcon, at that time, they were saying that it was akin to him having, like, the super soldier serum, that he was actually on the same par with Captain America. They forgot about that. They, wow. they, they actually... They actually let that go at one point. Okay, mm. So there's a whole bunch of stuff over there that you know we can bring up, talk about. But oh. hey... No, Why do that? We, we gotta Just, do more of that. That was incredible. <laughs> Why do that? Okay. That, oh, you could, could you imagine? Could you imagine if they actually did that story? That they meet, you know, he meets Sam Wilson and Sam. Yeah, I used to deal drugs and uh, this, that, and the other. <laughs> oh. He used to call me Snap. You know that type of stuff. You're like, what? Oh, oh yeah, but who saved you? Oh, the Red Skull, a Nazi. <laughs> It was like a Nazi came over here and oh saved. So God. not only was he saved by a white man, he was saved by a black hating white man. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait a minute. He was as tough as Captain America, and now he's got to fly around using guns. Oh, the oh the racism. The racism. But hey. <laughs> that's that's what happens when you don't know a that's what happens when you don't know a character's history. When you don't know a character's history. Yeah, that's the hardest thing, because I would, I mean. 